to our channel. So before everything else, I would like to greet Spino625, Wild Tricky Car Road, and Tyler's World. Thanks guys for supporting this channel. Um, and to all of you watching this video, if you'd like to see some dinosaur movies, Legos and other toys, I'll put their channel names in the description if you want to follow them. Okay, so a few weeks back I saw the Carcharodontosaurus and Stegosaurus at Toy World. Back then, Target still doesn't have these, but if you're in Australia, if you search Target right now, you can find that they're selling these now. Um, I created the shorts uh, actually navigating to their website and showing it's available, and I think it's about $35 each. Okay, so I don't want to keep you waiting guys, let's get on it. So I'll be opening the Carcharodontosaurus first. Look at this beauty, I really like the color combination of this dinosaur. Did you know that the color of the dinosaur is an artist's representation? So I got that from one of Sebastian's book about dinosaurs. Okay, so the box, you've got the name, Carcharodontosaurus in the middle, we've got a dino escape logo on the left. On the bottom right, it shows to you the action as you press the button on the spine. Um, it's got the Jurassic World logo and this one displays blue compared to the other Dino Escape which uses Toro. Uh, it also shows you what the action or movement here when you press the button here at the bottom right. So there is the Jurassic World logo and that's blue. So for the majority of the Dino Escape, I, I think it's uh, the Toro that's been featured in the box. And yet, this one right here shows you that as you press the button, the, there will be a movement on the head that will release the capture gear. All right. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's just cut the ties now to release him. Um, there's one in front and one at the back. Okay. There she goes. Now let's take away the, uh, the capture gear. Let me just cut that here on the side. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let, let me just put this aside. Okay, so the color combination looks great in this dinosaur. For me, all the metal dinosaurs have beautiful color combinations. Uh, this is kind of light and light. And it looks like plasticky, but I think overall it's still good. Okay, so so this is the head. It's got small little bumps from some part of the nose to the top of its head where the small spike starts to appear. So it has fine lines from the top of the neck that continues downward but fades in the upper part of the body. So the eyes is like a small orange with a dot. Look at that. It almost can't be seen because it's so um, blending with the brown color of um, surrounding the eyes. Okay, so there is articulation in the arms. You can move it up, down, left, right, and in circles if you like. <clears throat> there. I'm just moving the arm so I'll, I'll be able to show you that it moves um, just the way you wanted it. You can move it up or down. Then I'm gonna tap my fingers in this figure. Not sure if you noticed, but comparing it with the Scorpius Rex Slash and Battle, this one's a little light and plasticky. Okay, let's strike a pose. So the legs are pretty flexible. You can move it front and back like that. It's the same as the Scorpius Rex. You can I mean Scorpius Rex in the Danger Pack. You can also move the hips. You can move it sideways like that. I like this feature because it makes a dinosaur more stable and not wobbly. The tail, the tail can be moved left, right, up, down and in circles. It does not have that spring action. It's just snappy a little bit like that. Um, this thing right here, I'm gonna show you, is the button. It triggers the action in the head that releases the capture gear. Uh, the whole body of this dinosaur is kind of plastic, except for this one, which feels more for rubber. So as you press the button, the head moves, moves in downward motion, plus the jaw opens open. So this movement releases the capture gear. So this only have jaw movement, but it doesn't have sound. Let's try it one more time. Yeah. Okay, so this is how it look, looks like when the button is triggered with the dinosaur, the Carcharodontosaurus facing you. Okay. 
okay looking great so now let's move on to the underside it has the orangey brownish kind of yellowish color from the jaw to the tip of the tail um, and on one side of the foot you have the Jurassic uh, Jurassic World logo and on the other side you have the DNA scan code I have already shared a video showing the code before and I hope you like it and if you haven't seen it so this is the scan code that you can use in the app for those of you who don't know so the app gives you more details about the dinosaur okay so this is the Carcharodontosaurus he has rough and bumpy head and at the tip of the tail you've got small spikes all the way down so like I said earlier um, it's a little light but very stable I like the fact that it is light so when Sebastian accidentally dropped it and landed on my feet it isn't as bad as the others you know kids be like kids so this is kind of light okay so let's measure this up so you'll have an idea how big this is so from the tip of the jaw all the way to the tail he measures roughly around 13 inches uh, so in terms of the length he's about the size of a ruler and for the height he measures around 7 inches from the tallest part of the head to the feet okay now the capture gear the moment I've been waiting for I actually want to try this onto him um, and let's see. Um, the finish of the capture here is not looking cheap. It looks like a gunmetal color, a little bit shiny but not too matte. It's got some small arrows too which tells you how to attach the gear. So with, this is pretty much handy. So you see, the, you see the arrows here and on the other side. So this tells you how to attach the capture gear onto the Carcharodontosaurus. Okay, so let's put this on. I'm going to put the top part on the top of the head, of course. Um, see that little arrow right there? I'm going to align it with the bottom part and snap to attach. So this is how it looks like with the headgear on. It's pretty stable once you attach the headgear. Now let's try to... Okay, so I just press the button and it released the capture gear. Okay, so let's try it one more time. So I'm going to put the capture gear onto the head, then snap it like that, and then hit the button. Okay, one, two, three. Come on. Okay, it's a little bit slow, but you know, it's okay. There you go. Okay, so let's put the Carcharodontosaurus aside now, and let's get started with the Stegosaurus. We've got here in front of the box, of course, the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous logo and in here on the left we've got the to we've got toro um in carcarodontosaurus we've got blue um and then you've got the dino escape logo with darius and in the middle we've got the mega destroyer stake source name on the top right there's an arrow which shows you where you should press for some action on its tail which we're gonna try out a little bit later Okay, so let's move over to the back. You've got the Dino Escape logo on the left, and it also shows you where to attach the capture gear. Um, you also have a big Stegosaurus image in the middle, and at the bottom of the box, there's an instruction on how to attach the capture gear. See it like that. And yeah, here down at the bottom. Oh, oops, sorry. Oh, uh huh. Okay, I'm confused now. Which one is it? All right, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this is the right instruction. So this is how you're going to attach the Stegosaurus. So the tail is kind of um, outside of the capture gear. <clears throat> okay, so let's release this from the box now. Let me just cut the strings from the body and... Yeah, let me cut the strings like that. And then one on the neck or on the head. Hmm. Why can't I take it out? I think there must be something here that still holds the Stegosaurus. Okay, let me just cut the capture gear. Let me give myself a little bit of space. Hmm, okay. Then let me check. Why is it still stuck here? Hmm. Okay. Hmm, what else? I don't know, what have I missed? Is there anything here that 
that's holding it up. Okay, so there's still another one on the foot. Now I'm able to cut it. So this is um, your stegosaurus without the capture gear. Okay, so now I've got him, her out of the box. Look at the details of the face. There's a difference in the color on the top part of the face and its jaw. All over the body, you'll notice the texture. There's also like a, a connecting piece in the body of the body in the middle. Not sure what this is for. So comment below if you know why the body has something like that. Why is it like sliced in the middle? And it, I think it, it the that that thing in the middle makes the body move as you as you press on one of the plates when you want to release the capture gear but i don't know what this is for actually i'm just guessing so comment down below if you know why there's like a like a holding piece here like there like there's a line in the middle of the body it, it triggers the tail as i as i move it but comment down below because i really don't know so so the half portion of the body has different colors, the upper side is green while underneath is yellow and brown but the rest of the body is um, from the leg to the tail is green. And on the top view you'll see the plates on its back, it's huge plates, some are like the size of my thumb and of course the spikes on the tail, I mean down the tail. So here's the definition of um, the plates, look at that, it's got some lines and some are really huge and this is the texture on the body it's like some scales and it, it looks like rough but it's not so this is the capture gear that you place in the tail this has a very good finish the same as the carcarodontosaurus so let's try to put it together okay so this is me trying to figure out how to put it together again so comment down below if you struggled to put the capture gear together the problem is I didn't press the record button on the video so this is how it looks like when it's attached I'm gonna try to press one of the plates to release it okay let me try that one more time so this is the attack okay so I'm gonna show you the tail attack without the capture gear it's not as whippy as the Scorpius Rex it will not cause damage to bigger dinosaurs but it can of course knock out the mini dinosaur so this one here I'm gonna hold the stegosaurus on the body and then press on the plate to to have the action movement on a tail so let me get the Carcharodontosaurus and show it to you so this is how the tail action is when I trigger it by pressing one of the plates it's not as whippy. I'm not sure if it's it's going to knock down the Carcharodontosaurus. So here's another view. I'm holding the body so it's stable so I can show you if it whips. Okay, so let me just get the Carcharodontosaurus and then let's try to knock it off using the tail. Poof. I think it kind of attacked me then attacked the Carcharodontosaurus. <laughs> See? Let me try again. It didn't knock it off. Boom, boom. Okay, I'm hitting it in the wrong spot. I might, I, I, I think I'm just slapping it with a tail. Like that, still, well, at least for the Carcharodontosaurus, it's super stable. Okay, so that's, that's it. So here are your Mega Destroyers, Carcharodontosaurus and the Stegosaurus. Overall, they are very good looking dinosaurs. For the price range, I haven't seen a metal dinosaur that does not look good. So these two are, these two have got cool capture gears and have action movements. You can move the head, legs, arms and body. Uh, the details of both dinosaurs are great, especially the Stegosaurus and its plates and spikes. I guess the only challenge here is how to put the capture gear together for the Stegosaurus. I actually struggle trying to put to put them on and once you press the plates it just debacles quickly so to sum it all up i'm happy with these two dinosaurs this is sebastian's favorite toy for the week i'm keeping the others so he'll appreciate this too all right um i guess that's it kids uh and i hope you enjoyed watching this video and until next time bye oh please don't forget to like and subscribe all right bye